Hello, royal folks. It's good to see you all here again. This is your regular dose of royal news and analysis. Before we move on to any further details, I would really love to thank you all for your enormous love and support. And in case you haven't subscribed yet, I mean what are you waiting for guys, hit that subscribe button now. Also please don't forget to press the bell icon. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry are embarking on another non-fiction project, but that doesn't mean the production is drama-free. The Sussexes will be the primary subjects of a docuseries directed by Oscar-nominated documentary filmmaker Liz Garbus. Rumors about the status of the project abound, especially amid new reports that the unofficial release date has been delayed. Some say the couple is unhappy with their portrayal. Others report that Meghan and Harry would like to walk back some comments about the royal family in the wake of Queen Elizabeth's death. The resulting media circus could arguably rival that of Don't Worry Darling. Ms. Markle reportedly said, It's nice to be able to trust someone with our story, a seasoned director whose work I'd long admired, even if it means it may not be the way we would have told it. But that's not why we're telling it. We're trusting our story to someone else, and that means it will go through their lens. The mother of two added, It's interesting. My husband has never worked in this industry before. For me, having worked on suits, it's so amazing to be around so much creative energy and to see how people work together and share their own points of view. That's been really fun. Garbus, who earned an Emmy nomination for her work in The Handmaid's Tale, is known to share openly political posts on her social media platforms. The 52-year-old filmmaker recently uploaded posts about women's abortion rights and about Georgia's brilliant Democratic gubernatorial candidate Stacey Abrams. According to Mail Online, Garbus had control over a documentary about the life and legend of singer, pianist, and civil rights activist Nina Simone. She also produced a film called Shouting Fire, Stories from the Edge of Free Speech. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex's documentary series is expected to premiere on Netflix this year as a part of a deal which is rumored to have totaled $100 million, P is $88 million, a source told Page Six. As far as I am aware, the docuseries is still going ahead later this year. Netflix crews were seen standing away from dozens of other photographers while Harry and Meghan arrived at an Invictus Games reception in April. However, there had been speculation that the streaming giant wanted to push back the premiere date until 2023 amid backlash over the upcoming fifth series of The Crown. The show's makers had been accused of fabricating a hurtful smear against King Charles by depicting him secretly plotting to oust the Queen. So what do you think about this news, guys? Do you also think that Meghan's Netflix deal has got no future and Markle is going to humiliate herself again on air? Write down in the comments what you think and let me know. Until then, guess, we'll just have to wait and see if things turns out to be something after all. Also, if you never want to miss any of my sizzling royal updates like this, subscribe and press the bell icon. As simple as that. Thank you so much.